Hey, what's up, Fit Fam? So it's October, ready for a new strength club. Let's go over strength club B here for you. So you know the drill. We got our templates set up. Um, you know, we're going to work through some mobility and some ramping at the beginning. Then we'll have some power and total body work to get everything really charged up. For the strength portion, we're going to have four um, exercises we'll work on this month. And then we'll have a quick finisher for you at the end. So we'll go to the ramping first. You know how we're going to do it. We're going to start with those hangs, right? Great for the grip strength, shoulder mobility, decompressing the spine. Focus on your breathing as you're working these big, deep breath in through the nose. Hold it for a couple seconds and then slowly push that air out. And really challenge yourself to try to do this in as few breaths as you can here. So obviously, if you need to, you can put those feet on that box to help support you as well. So we've got 30 seconds on that. And then we have our box step downs here. So for our box step downs, you're going to get um, whatever size box you feel most comfortable on. You don't have to go with a high box. You can go with the shorter box as well here. But you're going to get to the edge of that box. Let that knee go out over your toe so you can see my left foot or my left leg in this video is on the edge of that box. I'm letting that left knee go out over those toes. My right leg, I'm trying to let it go straight down toward the floor here. Now, it's not necessary to touch the floor. I want you to go as low as you feel like you can while still maintaining that balance. So you will find yourself feeling a little off balance in for a couple moments. But in that 30 seconds, you should find yourself feeling more comfortable by the end. You're going to feel this around the knee here. So those quads are going to feel this as well. Um, we're going to get 30 seconds on one side, then we'll do the other leg here. And of course, if you find yourself losing your balance, obviously you go to a shorter box, so you can always touch down to the floor or just touch your foot to the box as well here. Just take your time. This one, we want to do it slow. You're probably only going to get maybe five to eight reps in that 30 seconds. So don't worry about a bunch of reps. Take your time and feel that one out. Also, make sure you're not letting your knee cave in. This is something we see with people in their split squats and their step downs. That knee wants to cave in. It's called knee valgus. We're going to think about pushing that knee out or rotating through that foot as well to keep that heel or to keep that um, knee from caving in on you there okay then so we got two sets of those then we're gonna move on to the next two we have uh, we're gonna move over the blue floor and we're gonna pull those stability balls out and we're gonna stir the pot here so again this is a great core stability exercise and then we add some anti-extension and rotation here so you can see where we're gonna start by making small circles Take your time with this, feel it out, see what you can do, and then keep seeing if you can make those circles a little bit bigger, but stay within that range of motion that allows you to maintain that strong plank position here. You can always go down to your knees if you need to, but before you go down to your knees to work the stir the pot, first make sure you can hold that strong plank for 30 seconds on the ball, and then you can start, then the next step is to move to making a couple circles from your feet. And then when you need to, you take those knees down to the floor if you need to or can't maintain that strong 30 second plank there. Okay, so we got 30 seconds on that and then we're gonna match it up with our band alternating or half kneeling alternating rows. This is one of my favorites as like a warm up exercise because we're gonna hit a bunch of different muscles here. We're gonna get those glutes firing because you're gonna squeeze the glute of the knee, the leg that's kneeling. That's what I would call the back glute in this situation. The front glute would be the front leg that's and put push forward here but you're going to squeeze that glute tight drive that front big toe into the floor here to really drive those hips together you're going to squeeze those glutes wall up those abs and then you're pulling down towards your low ribs not up towards your armpit here we want to get a good squeeze that shoulder blade we're going to get a nice stretch through the chest get those back muscles firing get those glutes firing as we stretch out those hip flexors as well so we'll get a set in on one side when we come back to this one you'll do a set on the other knee here so we'll get two sets of those and then we're moving on to our total body and power here so one of my favorites, again, um, just for the fact that it really does get a lot of muscles working and firing all at the same time is our landmine pivot press. And we're going to match it up with the ladder drills here. So remember on that pivot press, we're thinking power and speed here. Reset after each one. So as you notice in the video, I'm not trying to get the reps done. I'm not trying to get the set done quickly. I'm trying to think of getting that one set, that one rep, excuse me, that one rep right now that I'm doing as fast as I can. Reset, fast rep reset so you don't have to rush through this use this time to really feel it out you can obviously add weight to the bar in fact i'd encourage you to add weight to the bar if you've done this before and haven't added weight to it 
I don't want you struggling to get the bar up. I want it moving fast. I want that everything moving at the same time here, but it's okay to challenge yourself with, with some weight here, anywhere from 10 or five to 15, some of you even 25 pounds because you've gotten pretty strong. But again, kind of feel it out. You don't have to start with that weight. Five to each side, and then we're gonna hit those ladder drills. So again, with the ladder drills, we just wanna be thinking, keep those feet moving, planting those feet, shifting through those feet and those hips here. So we got our in, in, out, out. You can do those jumping jacks. You can do those icky shuffles, ollie shuffles. Got a bunch of options. Um, ask the coach if you are running out of ideas or you want something new to try. But again, focus on doing it fast feet, nice light feet there as well. We're going down and back. You're gonna give yourself a couple minutes to recover. We're gonna go two sets of those presses and the ladders, and then we're gonna move on to our strength training. So like I mentioned earlier, for this month, we are gonna have four exercises that we'll be working on on our strength training. We're gonna get two to three sets of each. This month, we're gonna be working in that five to eight rep range. Um, now this is gonna allow us to go heavier than what we were doing last, last month. So you're gonna get fewer reps in. But again, at this point from in September, you take that eight rep weight and you start to think, okay, this could be a starting point for me today, but if I can do those eight reps and feel good, I wanna either take that weight up to challenge myself for the eight, but really, I want you to take that weight up to challenge yourself for five reps, because what we wanna find in that first week is what is a challenging five or six rep weight, and over the course of the month, turn it into a six, seven, seven to eight rep weight. So here, for example, we have our chin-ups. We're gonna go for five to eight reps. Now you would wanna look back in September and see what were you doing for eight to 10 reps. Then maybe use that as a warm up for your first set, but then you wanna really challenge yourself by if you're using bands to assist yourself, using fewer bands. Um, if you are already going body weight, then it's adding a vest, things like that. So there's ways to scale this, but you wanna find a weight or an assistance level that allows you to get five to six or that make that fifth or sixth rep a really challenging rep that's what we're looking for in week one just finding that right weight and it might take a couple sets to figure it out so don't worry about that that's what week one's all about so like i said we got four exercises we're starting with those chin-ups there and then we're going to move over to our split squats or rear foot elevated split squats now we work these in september um these are one that i really find i like working them two months in a row because it's nice to see people improving in that first month and then we can build on it in that second month so we have our split squat where you can add weight you can hold it at your chest at your sides you can use the dowel rod for assistance if you need some with your balance or the trx but what we're looking for is coming up to that triangle position with those legs at the top starting in that 90 and 90 position at the bottom remember we're driving up and back through that front leg. We're also driving up and forward through that back leg here. So both legs are doing some work here. That's really gonna stabilize those hips. So squeeze those glutes tight at the top here. Um, so we're gonna go five to eight reps. Now you can also work that rear foot elevated split squat. Any of you that this month felt really comfortable with your split squats and that wanna try the rear foot elevated split squats, feel free to talk to the coach about it because we want to make sure we'll, we can offer some assistance there and see if that's something that you can handle. We're always happy to help, but make sure you want to be able to be doing those um, five to eight split squats really well from the floor before you go to that less stable rear foot elevated split squat. But we're always happy to help people work on those because that one really does work those glutes a lot, which is awesome. So we're going to get five to eight reps on each leg, and then we're going to move over to the farmer carries and suitcase carries. So got a lot of good feedback this month from people with the carries. I know they can be tough, but it was cool to see people actually enjoying doing something challenging like that. So now we're going to add it into the strength set here. Um, so we're going to go down and back. Now, again, you can do the suitcase or the farmer carry. It doesn't matter. But the thing that you want to keep in mind is you want a weight that is fucking heavy, that you have to be thinking about it as a weight that you don't want to pick up and carry then you just pick it up and carry it. I'd rather you find out, wow, that really, really was too heavy. And the way you'll know is because you'll still be gripping it with your the tips of your fingers before you finally decide to set that thing down because you know it's gonna drop. But a lot of you don't give yourself credit for uh, being as strong as you actually are. So pick up some heavy weight, 
challenge yourself. Think of a tempo that allows you to control it the entire time. Remember, we're walking like a dude, not like a lady as we're doing these. We want to keep those hips working. This is what's going to get that core really focused on stabilizing. And this is how we're going to build a lot of total body strength just by carrying some heavy weights. It works really well when you really challenge yourself with it. It's been cool seeing everybody in September really challenging themselves. So let's keep that going here. So we're gonna go to that. And then our last exercise of our strength training is going to be our push up. So again, keeping it simple or stay keeping it simple, but not necessarily easy here, right? Whatever variation you can do, Again, in September, whatever you're doing for eight to 10, that might be a good starting point, but then you wanna make it more challenging if you can. So if you're using the floor here, obviously like Coach Matt, you can see there, you might need to add a little bit of weight or you can put your feet up on a box, right? That's how you go from great floor push-ups to challenge yourself a little bit more. If you're working the bars, you know, and we're scaling it a little bit because you wanna make sure we get a good range of motion, it just means taking the bar down a couple notches to get started in October and find out because by the end of October, I want you feeling, looking back and saying, oh, this is a lot heavier than what I was doing in September, right? So give yourself that time, shoulders down and away, glutes are squeezed tight. Remember, we're thinking about the whole body's doing some work as we're working this one here as well five to eight challenging reps. We're gonna go through those four exercises for two to three sets on the first week. Two is gonna be, we're definitely gonna get two in. Some of you might have time for a third. Weeks two, three, and four, we should have plenty of time once you're up and running, know what you're doing there. So two to three sets, and then we're gonna move on to a quick finisher here. Again, not necessarily easy. In fact, this one can be pretty challenging as well. Just a really classic combo for here for us here. Now, what we're going to focus on this month when it comes to that finisher is really getting a like something closer to a truer conditioning feel than a strength training feel here because we want to push the pace on this one um, and then give yourself time to recover but really try to get that heart rate up really high by challenging yourself with the pace of those two exercises and then give yourself plenty of time to recover so we have our swings and echo bike so you got either five dead stop swings you can see coach t here parking that kettlebell now in this one this is where you can challenge yourself with the weight as well you can go heavier because you're really gonna like ramp up to you know get it going but Take your time here. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself with the weight. We got five or five of those challenging reps. You can even take those deep breaths in between reps as well. Think each time, throw that kettlebell across the room as hard as you can, or you can go with the repetitions. Obviously when we're working our repetitions, this is where you might go a little bit lighter. You can do more reps anyway, but you're gonna get a lot of power though out of those hips when you focus on playing chicken with the bell and then sit those hips back fast, drive up, drive those heels into the floor. And again, think about throwing that kettlebell across the room. Keep those shoulders down and away from those ears so we get those lats working here as well. So either five or 10 challenging reps on those swings. And then we're heading over to the echo bike and we got seven calories on that bike. So a little bit more than we've been doing. Now, the great thing is this is gonna make boot camp echo bike feel better because it's gonna be less calories. Now, I know some of you are already saying, wow, seven calories. This should be somewhere between 15 to 25 seconds for most of you. Some of you are gonna go faster and some of you are gonna take a little bit longer and that's okay. But keep in mind, when you think about that way, that's not a lot of time. Challenge yourself and try to get a little bit faster if you can. Day to day, you're gonna feel different, especially that first couple weeks when these workouts are feeling a little bit different. But the goal is to find out in week one what you can really do when you challenge yourself and then keep doing that for weeks two, three, and four. And at the end of week four, seeing what you can do and seeing yourself getting a little bit faster, feeling more comfortable with those sets as well. So we'll get two, possibly three sets for anybody who really wants to push at the end, but usually two quality sets is all we really need to get out of it. Okay. So we put all that together. I think it's a great workout. Um, just kind of building on what we did in September and let's keep growing on this one. Remember the key here is you gotta challenge yourself as you're learning what we're doing here. I know you guys can do it. I'm proud of you. I love seeing you do push yourself so hard. Let's have a great month, everybody. Love you, bye.